Hey yo guys, this is a pretty freaking cracked banner. Hi, welcome back to another Alchemy Stars video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about the new rotational recruitment. I swear there was another R. Rotational recruitment, ro okay, doesn't matter. Anyway, we've got a new rotating recruitment. It is featuring Michael, Beverly, and Luis. So this is just going to be a quick evaluation, a quick look at each one of them. And it's, ugh, I don't know if like I should say, should you pull? Because my advice, generally speaking, is to always go for the guaranteed five star, even if you already have them, right? Because their breakthroughs, especially for five stars, ugh, honestly, all breakthroughs are really, really good. Some breakthroughs are literally game changing. I'm talking about like the cross converters so uh, for example maggie imagine having this cross conversion on preemptive but also on a four turn cooldown so i'm talking bt2 as well as bt5 like oh my god that is so good however up until then i think that cross converters are still like eh, they're okay you know they're okay and so yeah that's why i always encourage you guys like to always roll at least for the guaranteed five star however in this case i think all of these units are really cracked and so then i guess the decision is well should you go all in for it then is michael worth that pity is michael worth that potential 55 60 rolls and so with that being said let's explore that so let's have a look at michael first up i use michael i like michael michael is quite strong and so let's quickly go through him however the meta is starting to really really shift a lot of people are starting to hit the end games like the spires 87 to 90 and then the elysium as well as you unlock the old seal and so in that context michael is actually one of the best six stars to compete in those elysium stages and so guys for each of the characters i'm just going to give you like a quick abridged version for michael on his skill essentially he dashes to a target location so he flies to like anywhere on the map and then everything between between him and his starting point so if he flew from here and he went over to here everything for like a three cell width will take damage and not only that they will take damage equal to five percent of their current hp as well as for her equipment she gets a stack at the start of every round but also when she uses an active or gets a chain combo off and then after that every time she deals a normal attack she consumes one of these stacks to deal 2.5 percent of the current hp that's insane again because of the context of elysium these bosses have like millions and millions millions and millions of HP. And so as you can imagine, like especially in any game, if anything or like an enemy has an insane amount of HP, you're going to be looking for the percentage HP sources of damage, right? So I'm talking in this game, like the damage over times, the poisons, the bleeds, the burns, like skills like this. And so that's why in this context for late game, Michael is really freaking good. But not only that, she also has a global dash and that is just really freaking cracked. And so yeah, in a nutshell, like should you roll for her? Well, I think it's situational. If you have like your core team built already so i'm talking like you've got your converters so for example you've got your grandru and you've got your beverly i would say that after those two michael is probably your next best thing and so in that kind of context yeah go for michael otherwise if you're mid game or whatever and you like michael definitely go for her like she is definitely a very good investment there's not really any scenario where you shouldn't roll for her unless you're just like straight chilling so if you don't really care about the end game you don't really care about elysium i would still say that michael is probably on top of all of this still one of the strongest six star units but definitely not top priority anymore because like still with the teleport and the dash and whatever like she is still really good with that being said though there are definitely better six stars but michael again is safe and before we move on to beverly i do want to point out the very very high attack that michael has as well as the chain combo which is pretty freaking cracked especially the two surrounding clusters with this massive attack like you will see her chunking people like crazy especially in the context of bosses and you've got like this guy as well all in all michael is just like a really freaking strong a really flexible detonator I would honestly take her over some other units like uh, Jonah, probably Wrath, over Fleur, over Beryl. This is, of course, like talking about, like from a meta chasing point of view. But yeah, guys, that's my take on Michael. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And so let's move on to Beverly. Oh my God, I need Beverly so bad. So Beverly is one of your high priority units. Like you've got the converts four nearest red tiles to yellow and has a chance to generate up to two enhanced tiles. Absolutely lit. She is one of the core units to every single Thunder team. Two turn preemptive and then we've got like the BT so like I would say if you already have a Beverly and you're looking at this banner thinking oh should I go for breakthroughs for Beverly generally speaking I would say no because whilst these guys over here so let me read it out real quick the skill was ready in the last round and you held onto it and didn't use it this round you will get one additional tile that converts so like it instead converts four like it goes to converts five this is good this is cool however it is not game breaking and whilst I like it a lot especially if you don't have like your other teams rounded out I would say 
like I wouldn't roll for something like that. For example, for me, I'm missing Beverly. I'm missing uh, Klecken. I would go for one copy of Beverly and then stop there. And honestly, I don't even know if I have enough rolls to actually get Beverly. So yeah, don't quote me on that one. But say I already had Beverly and I didn't have Klecken. I would just go for the guaranteed five star and just pray for a Klecken like at some point. Actually, that was the last banner, wasn't it? And I definitely failed that guaranteed five. Okay, God. Damn. Anyway, onto her equipment. So when a chain combo hits a target, it also deals damage to two random targets. I personally favor the converters that do provide that extra little bit of damage. Although that is not to say like the defensive ones are any worse, right? So I'm talking like the Sariel that heals you. I just think that offense is the best defense and like Beverly's kit really shows that. And then coming down here, chain combo. So this is actually like a, a chain combo pattern that I've not really had the opportunity to use. What's really interesting about this is that on the nine combo, Beverly actually goes in a cross shape to the maximum range. And so I think that's really nice, especially from like a sniping point of view. You can hit enemies all the way on the other side of the freaking board. However, you guys already know how I feel about my chain combos. I love the clusters. I love the two clusters. I love the three clusters. It is not the best. It is situational, but that is like every character in the game. Am I right, guys? And so with all of that being said, should you roll for Beverly? Yeah, if you don't have her already. But personally, I wouldn't go too deep unless you needed Beverly and Michael. Because if you go in a little bit deep, you could end up picking up the Michael as well. And that'd be good. However, in that context, I reckon Michael's breakthrough is also like, it's not game breaking either. Some six star game breaking breakthroughs are like, I'm talking like Uriel or like some of the other converters where you get the preemptive. I think Michael's is okay. He uses chain combo once at the location after teleporting, but it's just straight damage. This definitely doesn't change the way that you use Michael. And so I think this is definitely a low priority. And so yeah, if you already have Michael, I wouldn't go for a dupe. And therefore, if you're not going for Michael, then I wouldn't go too deep for Beverly either. And so that's Beverly covered. So let's have a look at Luis over here. Luis is a really interesting one. She is a support and she is what we know as the two times chain combo archetype. However, what is nice about Luis is that she has a fair bit of attack, like 3k. So I was using her quite a fair bit because like I didn't have many great forest units. But yeah, everybody should be familiar with Luis's archetype by now. So essentially, when you activate her skill and you guys do like chain combos your chain combo will be done again however it will be based on Luis's attack so 85% of her attack and so what this means is that you can't get away with just including Luis in your team as like a level one unit because the stronger your Luis is the stronger that second chain combo is going to be and so this bad boy is pretty good on a four turn CD however on the first breakthrough, you get the preemptive. And so this is what I mean by kind of like game changing, right? Because like on your first turn, if you guys can imagine it, like you've got your Nikki and you've got your Pact, you're doing like the eight cell conversion between the two. But on top of that, you've also got the Louise coming in. And so you've got a massive burst straight out of the gate, you know? It is because of these reasons that I would say a Louise dupe or any of these two times chain combo archetypes, any dupes with these guys, I think is really, really freaking good. I think the first dupe is the best. I think if you're looking for any more than that, it's a no from me. The BT5 is good. It's really good. Reduces skill cooldown by one round. That's that's amazing. It brings this bad boy from a four turn cooldown down to a three turn cooldown. However, again, very, very similar scenario to Beverly. Like if you are missing other units, I would say you could eye this one, but definitely if you already have this, don't look at it for Luis. And so guys, with all of that being said, let me give a quick summary as to whether you should roll on this banner or not. Whether you have any of these units or not, I definitely still recommend that you go for that guaranteed five star within the first 10 pulls especially because these are using the yellow star flares i think it's okay to like go for these dupes however let's move through each of these characters and for michael in my opinion especially from like a free to play or like a low spender point of view you go for michael if you are really trying to push hard for elysium and if you don't have a copy of her already if you already have a copy for michael i would say don't go for the michael dupe moving on we've got beverly next and so i would say only go deeper for Beverly if you don't already have Michael. And so what I'm trying to say there is that you technically have two targets on this banner. You have Beverly and Michael at least. Otherwise, if you already have Beverly, I definitely would not go deeper than the first 10 pulls. And so lastly, we have Luis. So I guess this kind of depends on your situation. For some reason nowadays, I don't actually use like the two times chain combo people too much. However, I do know that as you get higher in the spire, like there starts to become a requirement for these two times chain combo archetype units. So like 
if you guys are at that stage, you guys definitely could consider it. In the scenario that you already have Luis, I would say that her optimal like breakthrough is breakthrough two. And so I believe that's just with one dupe. So if you are looking for that upgrade, Luis could be up your alley. But all in all, I think this is a fantastic banner. So like definitely do your 10 rolls into it. And hopefully you guys will get something good out of it. I am fishing for that Beverly personally, but otherwise I don't think there's too much left to be said. And so like, let's wrap up this video. I've got a secret question for you guys. And that is how deep are you guys going on this rotating recruitment banner? Are you guys going to go for the guaranteed five star? Are you guys going to go for the first 10? Are you guys going to go deep for Michael? Let me know what you guys are going to be doing down in the comments below, because I would really appreciate it. It means that you've watched up until the end of the video. And so thank you guys so much. But otherwise, please consider a like, a sub, a comment, a follow. You guys already know what it is. We've got a membership thing as well as some affiliate links down in the description if you do want to support me. But otherwise, as Michael once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.